Hey what's up guys, today I am going to show you how to configure OpenCV with Python and write a simple face detection program. So let's start. The first thing you need is, you need to download Python 2.7. It's important that you don't download 2.5, you need to download 2.7. I have already downloaded and installed it. So. I'm not going to do it now. The second thing is you need to download OpenCV. So you'll get the link in the description. You need OpenCV Windows and download 2.4.30. So here it is. After you have downloaded it, Extract it and you will get a folder called OpenCV and inside that folder you will get one source folder and one build folder. Inside the build folder there is a python 2.7 x86 and cv2.pyd. Copy this into your C Python 2.7 library go to site packages and paste it in so now you have ready with OpenCV one thing that is left is you need the numpy module for OpenCV to run so to do that Open command prompt cmd and type cd space c colon python 27 slash script. Sorry. Okay. And then hit enter and then type pyp install numpy this will automatically install the numpy in your current python and with that you are ready to program with opencv so let's open up now click start and type IDLE and open python IDLE this will automatically bring you the python shell window so click on the file click new file now here we can code before that just make sure that OpenCV is configured correctly. Just type import something is wrong. Yeah, import CV2. And if everything is correct, it will show you no error. OpenCV is correctly configured in Python. We can program. Where is the editor? Yeah. So let's start programming. Let's import the OpenCV. CV2 and import numpy as np so that we don't have to type numpy, we can just type np. Now we are trying to detect the faces. For this, I am going to use something called cascade classifier. Now go to your folder where you have extracted the OpenCV and go to source. Here you will find a folder called data where you will find some cascade classifier XMLs. These are the previously trained classifier which can be used to detect several objects like in this case this is eye detection eye with eyeglasses, frontal face, 
full body detection so we are going to use this frontal phase default hard casket classifier so we are going to copy this folder or just to make it simple just copy this one only copy it to your folder and let's save this in the same folder see e youtube tutorials python open cv face reduction name it intro to pi cv okay so we have our script we have our cascade classifier we can now call that classifier in our program so let's create a variable named uh, face detect equals cv2 dot cascade classifier classifier and the name of the file and with this it is loaded now here what we are going to do is we are going to capture images from our webcam and process it and detect the faces to capture the images from the webcam we need a video capture object so let's call it cam equals cv2 dot video capture and here you have to give the video capture id for the webcam most of the time it's zero and if it's not working for you you can try other number whichever it's working for you now now we are going to capture the frames one by one and detect the faces and we will show that in the window so we are going to create a loop and we will break it with a key capturing the image equals cam dot read cam dot read will return one status variable and the captured image and then this image is a color image but for the classifier to work we need a grayscale image we have to convert the Im color image into a grayscale image so it's a gray equals cv2 dot cvt color input image comma the flag called color underscore blue green red to gray now we have our grayscale image we can detect faces from that so we have our classifier let's create a list to store the faces equals 
over classifier dot detect multi scale this will detect all the faces in the current frame and it will return the coordinates of the frame of the faces so this is the input image the grayscale image and some parameters which you can tweak to get some accurate result now in this faces variable there are multiple faces can be there so we have to get each and every face and we will draw a rectangle on them so for that we will use for x y width and height in faces we will draw a rectangle on them rectangle but this time the input image is the colored image because we want to show the rectangle on the colored image the first point the initial point of the rectangle will be x and y x comma y and the end point of the rectangle will be x plus width comma y plus height and now the color of the rectangle let's make it green so it is in blue green red format okay so first one is for the blue value second one is for the green value third one is for the red value or all the values are ranging from 0 to 255 so if you want to give full green you can set 255 here and now the thickness of the rectangle let's set it 2 and with this we are done with drawing the rectangle now the only thing left is showing the image in a window so cv2.im this will create a window with a window name let's say face and with the image img but before closing it we need to give a wait command otherwise the opencv won't work so let's give a wait command cv2 dot wait key with a millisecond of delay 1 and let's make it like if we if the wait key value is q then it will exit out of the loop so if wait key equals equals word of Q, then it will exit the loop so we are break now, now that we are done we have to release the camera cam dot release and we will destroy all the windows cv2 dot destroy all windows so that's it we're done so let's run it yeah mm. something is wrong i guess what happened
let's make it 255 we have this okay what i missed is the name of the classifier with the extension xml so now let's try again and voila yo so thank you guys for watching please subscribe and hit the like button